Hey guys, this is Jason from xlsxhelp.com and today I wanted to go over the offset formula which similar to a VLOOKUP or an HLOOKUP based on your variable will bring back a value. Um, the difference being is, is offset allows your cell to move around, it can turn into an array and I'll show you the different ways you can use the offset formula in a second. Um, but as you can see my A1 I've started off by naming that start that's going to be my reference point. Going down my column I've numbered it 1 through 7 going across my row I've num numbered it 1 through 6 this is just for visual purposes only going forward if you're going to use this formula you do not have to worry about numbering your column numbering your rows um, again for visual purposes so jumping into the formula I have equals offset my reference point which is going to be start the number of rows that I want to go down the number of columns that I want to go across how tall I want it to be and how wide I want it to be and I didn't put any variables in here so it's going to give me a value error or a reference error so I want to bring back the 0.68 value so the number of rows that I'm going to go down is 2 the number of columns going across is 2 and I want to make it 1 by 1 and let's just turn this into two decimals and as you can see it brings back 0.68 well what if I were to change this up let's say I wanted to go to 3 well now you're gonna get 0.83 if you move down from that let's do 3 by 3 it should bring back 0.4 and it does okay so again this could be very versatile in how you bring back your data now let's say you wanted to have a moving average and you want to base that moving average on a certain value well let's go back to our original number of 0.68 and let's say we wanted to bring back 0.83 and 0.68 together well simply and this is going to give us a value error is you would make your cell too, by, too, too wide and what it's doing is it's bringing back 0.68 and 0.83 but it's not doing anything and that's why you're getting a value error so what you want to do is throw a sum formula into that offset and what it'll do is it'll add those two together and it gets the answer of 1.51 as you can see in the bottom here oops sorry about that there you go 1.51 now let's make this 2 by 2 so now what it's doing is bringing back this array and now it's summing up this box and you get 2.50 so there's a lot of different ways uh, of doing this. You, you can do an average, you can do a sum, you can do a max. Um, it's a very versatile formula. I wouldn't use it all the time. I think it's only for special circumstances. Um, you're, so most of the time, you're better off using an HLOOKUP or a VLOOKUP. The VLOOKUPs, which I've done a tutorial in the past, you can uh, check my videos. Um, but it's still a great formula to use. If you guys have any questions, head over to xlsxhelp.com and I'll answer any questions you have or any comments that you have. Thanks, guys.